O chosen leader of the heavenly hosts and defender of the human race, we that are delivered by thee from afflictions offer unto thee this hymn of thanksgiving. And as thou dost stand before the throne of the King of glory, do thou free us from all dangers, that with faith and love we may cry unto thee in praise. Rejoice, O Michael, great supreme commander, with all the hosts of heaven. With the tongues of angels it is meet that thou be praised, as first among the fiery choirs of angels, O Michael, but until we are taught by thee the tongue of the bodiless ones, hearken thou to such things as these from tongues which, though man, human, are yet thankful. Rejoice, primordial star of the world. Rejoice, candle of truth and righteousness brightly gleaming. Rejoice, first receiver of the rays of the uncreated light among the choirs of angels. Rejoice, captain of angels and archangels. Rejoice, thou in whom the glory of the Maker's right hand shineth most of all. Rejoice, thou by whom the assemblies of all the bodiless creations are adorned. Rejoice, O Michael, great supreme commander, with all the hosts of heaven. Perceiving with the eyes of faith the greatness of thy spiritual beauty, and the power of thy right hand which bearing light, O Archangel of God, we as earthly ones and wrapped in flesh are filled with wonder, joy and thanksgiving to the Creator of all, crying out with all the hosts of heaven, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A mind pure and free of passions, do thou entreat for us, O wondrous Michael, leader of heavenly ranks, and having ascended in thought from the earthly to the heavenly, we may sing to thee a hymn of praise thus. Rejoice, nearest beholder of the ineffable beauty and goodness of God. Rejoice, intimate initiate of all the good counsels of the Most Holy Trinity. Rejoice, faithful fulfiller of the pre-eternal judgments of the Trinity. Rejoice, thou at whom the heavenly armies are lovingly amazed. Rejoice, thou whom the born of earthly glorify with faith. Rejoice thou before whom the hosts of Hades tremble. Rejoice, O Michael, great supreme commander, with all the hosts of heaven. Manifesting within thyself the invincible power of zeal for the glory of God, thou didst stand at the head of the choirs of angels against the malice-breathing, most proud morning star, with him and our and his dark comrades being cast down from on high to the nether regions, the heavenly armies most gloriously led by thee, with gladness as with one mouth before the throne of God cried aloud, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. All the Christian race hath the O Archangel Michael as a great protector and a wondrous helper in battle with adversaries, Therefore, desiring to be vouchsafed thy most wondrous protection, we, to, we cry to thee on the day of thy festival thus. Rejoice thou by whom, by whom Satan, Satan was hurled down, down like lightning from heaven. Rejoice by whom the protected the race goeth up to heaven. Rejoice, most wondrous adornment of all the radiant world above. Rejoice, most glorious defense of the fallen, be world below. Rejoice, thou who wast in no wise vanquished by the powers of evil. Rejoice, thou who with all the angels of God has been established in truth and righteousness forever by the grace of God. Rejoice, O Michael, O Michael great supreme commander with all the hosts of heaven. From the tempest of temptations and dangers do thou deliver us with love who with love and joy celebrate thy most radiant festival o foremost of the angels for thou art a great helper in misfortunes and at the hour of death a guardian intercessor against evil spirits that all cry out to thy for all that cry to 
for all that cry to thy and our master and God. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Seeing thy boldness against the legions of Satan, all the ranks of the angels strove with joy to follow thee into the battle for the name of the glory of their master, crying aloud, who is like unto God? And knowing that Satan was cast down beneath thy feet, we cry out to thee as victor. Rejoice thou through whom peace and tranquility were established in heaven. Rejoice thou by whom the spirits of evil were put down even into Hades. Rejoice thou who dost direct the angelic armies and the hosts of the invisible world to the destruction of evil. Rejoice thou who unseen dost quell the strife and turmoil of the elements of this visible world. Rejoice, wondrous defender of them that wage warfare against the spirits of evil under the heavens. Rejoice, strong helper of them that weaken amid the temptations and dangers of this age. Rejoice, O Michael, great supreme commander with all the hosts of heaven. A divinely flowing fountain of most great miracles, didst thou reveal thyself to be in thy temple at Konye, for not only was the great and terrible serpent which abode in that place destroyed by thy power, but also streams of water which healed every bodily ailment were revealed, that all might cry out with faith to the master of the angels, who doth glorify thee. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hearing and knowing Thee to be a great beacon shining among the choirs of angels, O most wondrous Michael, to thee, after God, and the most holy mother of God, we flee, illumine with the rays of thy light, all of us who cry unto thee. Rejoice, conductor and guardian of the God-chosen people in the wilderness. Rejoice, great in the mediary of the law given on Sinai by the hand of Moses. Rejoice thou through whom the judges and leaders of Israel found strength and protection. Rejoice thou through whom the prophets and high priests of the Jews received the gift of knowledge from the omniscient God. Rejoice thou who providest the God-fearing lawgivers with mystical wisdom. Rejoice thou who placest judgment and righteousness in the hearts of them that do good. Rejoice, O Michael. Great Supreme Commander, with all the hosts of heaven. When once Manoah saw thee, the proclaimer of the judgments of God, he was filled with doubt and fear, thinking that he would live no longer on earth. But learning from his wife of the goodness of thine appearance, and the meekness of thy words, and that he was beget according to thy word, his son Samson, Enjoying thanksgiving, he cried to God, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thou didst shine forth wondrously with glory, O Michael, when thou didst stand before Joshua, son of Nun, in the form of a man, saying, Loose thy sandal from thy foot. I am the supreme commander of the hosts of the Lord. Marveling at such an appearance of thine, with love we cry unto thee. Rejoice, vigilant guardian of divinely crowned heads. Rejoice, speedy subduer of them that oppose the authority of oppressors of the man com command of God. Rejoice, pacifier of disturbance among the people. Rejoice, invisible abolisher of the customs of the impious. Rejoice, for thou dost enlighten them that in the hour of cruel perplexity. Rejoice, for thou dost free thy tempered from the pernicious slander. Rejoice, O Michael, great supreme commander with all the hosts of heaven. Desiring to show that the lot of the children of men is not haphazard, but it is continually held in his right hand, the master of all gave thee as a helper, and guardian to the kingdoms of the earth, that thou mightest prepare the tribes and peoples for the eternal kingdom of God. Therefore, all knowing of thy great service to the salvation of mankind, 
thankfully cry unto God, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. New wonders did the Maker and Master of all show us on earth through thee, O Supreme Commander, when thou didst wondrously save the temple dedicated to thy name from inundation by the waters of the river, commanding the streams of the torrent to flow into a cavern of the earth, saying this, the blessed Archippus, with his spiritual children, thankfully cried aloud to thee. Rejoice, indestructible rampart of the holy temples of God. Rejoice, invincible barrier to the enemies of the Christian faith. Rejoice, thou through whom the command the elements are brought under subjection. Rejoice, thou by whom all, all evil's designs are defeated. Rejoice, thou who bearest joy to the faithful from the throne of the Almighty. Rejoice, thou who leadest unbelievers to the path of truth and righteousness. Rejoice, O Michael, great supreme commander, commander with, with all the hosts of heaven. A strange miracle of thy power, O supreme commander of God, did a Abacum himself experienced when according to the command of God to transport him. Thou didst spare him speedily from Judea to Babylon to give food to Daniel, who was imprisoned in the lion's den. Wherefore, marveling at thy great act of thy power, he cried out with faith, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Thou art in the highest, O Michael, standing before the throne of the King of Glory, yet not far from below, battling continually with the enemies of man's salvation. Wherefore, all that desire to reach the long for heavenly homeland cry out to thee with one accord. Rejoice, leader of the thrice holy hymn of the angels. Rejoice, ever ready mediator and guardian of those born of earth. Rejoice, thou who didst strike down the proud Pharaoh and the unbelieving Egyptians in a wondrous manner. Rejoice, thou who didst most gloriously lead the faithful Jews into the wilderness. Rejoice, thou through whom the flame was quenched in the furnace of Babylon. Rejoice, O Michael, Michael, great supreme commander, with all the hosts of heaven. All the monks of Holy Mount Athos, in joyful trembling, came beholding how thou didst save the God-fearing youth who had been violently cast into the depths of the sea with stones by ungodly lovers of money. Wherefore the monastery adorned with thy name, having received him, thankfully cried out to the Lord, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The words of orators and the thoughts of philosophers did not suffice to tell of thy power, O Michael, how in one night thou didst strike down 185,000 of the warriors of Sennacherib, king of Assyria, that he might learn to blaspheme the name of the Lord no more, and we honoring thy holy zeal for the glory of the true God, with gladness cry to thee. Rejoice, unconquerable leader of orthodox armies. Rejoice, fear and downfall of the forces of error. Rejoice, implanter of right faith and reverence for God. Rejoice, uprooter of dissension and soul-harming heresies. Rejoice, thou who didst strengthen the pious Maccabees of the field of battle. Rejoice, thou who didst strike down Hilarious. Captain of Antiochus in the temple itself, rejoice, great Michael. Rejoice, O Michael, great supreme commander with all the hosts of heaven. Unto us that desire to be saved, be thou a firm helper, O supreme commander of God, delivering, preserving us from dangers and temptations above all from our evil habits and sins, that progressing in faith, hope, and love, with joy because of thy most wondrous aid, we may cry unto the Master of angels and of men, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A rampart art thou, 
unto men that believe of supreme commander of God, and a pillar of strength in battle with enemies visible and invisible, therefore being delivered through thee with the nets of demons, with thankful hearts and lips we cry unto thee. Rejoice, invincible opponent of the enemies of faith and adversaries of the church. Rejoice, tireless helper of the humble proclaimers of the gospel. Rejoice, thou who enlightenest them that to sit in the darkness of false faith with the light of the faith of Christ. Rejoice, thou who guidest into the path of repentance and truth those made foolish by false wisdom. Rejoice, terrible avenger of those that take the name of God in vain. Rejoice, lightning bearer, chastiser of those who foolishly scoff at the mysteries of the holy faith. Rejoice, O Michael, great supreme commander with all the hosts of heaven. Every song of praise is defeated, O supreme commander of God, by the multitude of thy miracles, which are performed by thee, not only in heaven and on earth, but also in the dark shadows of the nether regions, where thou dost bind the serpent of the abyss with the chains of the power of the Lord, that those delivered from his malice might bless the master of heaven and earth, crying aloud, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A light-bearing servant of truth and the purity of divine worship was thou shown to be, O Supreme Commander, when foreseeing the snares of the spirit of darkness, thou didst forbid him in the name of God, so that he dare not reveal the hidden body of Moses, departed leader of Israel, to the sensual sons of Israel, for idolatrous veneration, therefore honoring right the now radiant feast of the Synaxis. Thankfully we cry unto thee, Rejoice, thou who didst preserve the purity of the knowledge of God among the Jews in the days of the Old Testament. Rejoice, thou who didst uproot the tares of error many times in the days of the new. Rejoice, destroyer of heathen prophets and idols. Rejoice, fortifier of Christian ascetics and passion bearers. Rejoice, thou who fillest the weak in spirit with the power of the grace of God. Rejoice, thou who girdest with the feet. The weak in the flesh with the armor of faith. Rejoice, O Michael, great supreme commander, with all the hosts of heaven. Grace from God in heaven, do thou ask of us who sing the glory of thine honorable name, O Michael, that overshadowed by thy protection, we may live in all piety and purity until loosed by death from the bonds of flesh. We may be vouchsafed to stand before the fiery throne of the King of Glory and cried aloud with the angelic choirs, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Having thy manifold pow wonderful, having hymning thy manifold wonders accompanied of our salvation, O Michael, we pray to the Lord and Master of all that the spirit of zeal for the glory of God that is in thee in no wise be lacking in us who cry out to thee. Rejoice, thou who dost most wondrously set upon the summit of the power of the faithful servants of God in a seasonable time. Rejoice, thou who dost invisibly overthrow the arrogant and unworthy from the height of the power and glory. Rejoice, thou who shall gather the chosen from the four corners of the earth on the last day. Rejoice, thou whom by sinners like tares, according to the voice of God, shall be committed to eternal fire. Rejoice, thou whom by Satan with the angels shall be cast into the lake of fire forever. Rejoice, thou through whom the righteous shall dwell most gloriously in the mansions of the heavenly Father. Rejoice, O Michael, great, great supreme command, commander, with all the hosts of heaven. O most wondrous leader of angels and archangels, for thy most marvelous service in the salvation of mankind, accept from us the voice of praise and thanksgiving, which we now offer unto thee, as, as, and as thou art full of the power of God, shelter us with time and material wings, shelter us with thine immaterial wings from all enemies visible and invisible, 
that the Lord glorified by thee and who hath glorified thee, we may continually cry, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O most wonderful leader of angels and, and archangels, for thy most marvelous service in the salvation of mankind, accept from us the voice of praise and thanksgiving which we now offer unto thee. And as thou art full of power of God, shelter us with thine immaterial wings from all enemies, visible and invisible, to the Lord that glorified by thee, and who glorified, who hath glorified thee, we may continually cry, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O most wonderful leader of angels and archangels, for thy most marvelous service in the salvation of mankind, accept from us the voice of praise and thanksgiving, which we now offer unto thee as a thought, as thou art full of the power of God, shelter us with thine immaterial wings from all enemies, visible and invisible, that to the Lord glorified by thee, and who hath glorified thee, we may continually cry, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. With the tongues of angels as is meet, that thou be praised as first among the fiery choirs of angels, O Michael, but until we are taught by thee the tongue of the bodiless ones, hearken thou to such things as these from the tongues which, though human, yet are thankful. Rejoice, primordial star of the world. Rejoice, candle of truth and righteousness, brightly gleaming. Rejoice, first receiver of the rays of the uncreated light among the choirs of angels. Rejoice, captain of angels and archangels. Rejoice thou in whom the glory of the Maker's right hand shineth most of all. Rejoice thou by whom the assemblies of all the body of this creation are adorned. Rejoice, O Michael, great supreme commander, with all the hosts of heaven. O chosen leader of the heavenly hosts and defender of the human race, we that are delivered by thee from afflictions offer unto thee this hymn of thanksgiving. And as thou dost stand before the throne of the King of glory, do thou free us from all dangers, that with faith and love we may cry unto thee in praise. Rejoice, O Michael, great supreme commander, and with all the hosts of heaven. O holy and great archangel of God, Michael, first among the angels that stand before the inscrutable and transcendent Trinity, overseer and guardian of the human race, who with thine armies didst crush the head of the most proud morning star in heaven, <clears throat> and dost ever put to shame his evil and cunning on earth. To thee do we flee with faith, and to thee we pray with love. Be thou an invincible shield and a full, bul firm bulwark of the Holy Church and our homeland, protecting them with thy lightning-bearing sword from all enemies, both visible and invisible. Be thou a guardian angel, a most wise counselor and helper of Orthodox Christians of our country, bringing them from the throne of the King of Kings enlightenment and power, joy, peace, and consolation. Be thou the chief captain and companion in arms of our Christ-loving armed forces, crowning them with the glory and victory over adversaries, that all who oppose us may know that God and his holy angels are with us. And leave not without thy help and protection, O archangel of God. Also us who glorify thy holy name today, for behold, even though we be great sinners. Nevertheless, we desire not to perish in our iniquities, but rather to turn to the Lord and be quickened by him and to good works. Illumine, therefore, our minds with the light of God's countenance, which continually shineth on thy lightning-like lightning forehead, that we may understand what the good and perfect will of God is concerning us, and know all that which we ought to do, and that which we ought to despise and abandon, 
strengthened through the grace of the Lord our weak will and feeble state, that made firm in the law of the Lord, we may henceforth cease to be tossed to and fro by earthly thoughts and the lusts of the flesh, enticed away like senseless children by the quickly perishing beauties of this world, foolishly forgetting the eternal and heavenly for the sake of the corruptible and earthly. Above all things, do thou ask for, for us from on high a true spirit of repentance, unfeigned sorrow before God, and contrition for our sins, that we may spend the number of days that remain to us on this transitory life, not in gratifying our senses and in slavery to our passions, but in wiping out the evil things that we have done by tears of faith and heartfelt contrition, by struggles of purity and holy deeds of mercy. And when the hour of our end and liberation from the bonds of this body of clay draweth nigh, O archangel of God, leave us not defenseless against the spirits of evil in the upper air, who are accustomed to hinder the ascent of man's soul on high, that regard, that guarded by thee we may attain without hindrance the most glorious dwelling places of paradise, where there is neither sorrow nor sighing, but life everlasting, and be vouchsafed to behold the most radiant countenance of our all benefic beneficent Lord and Master, fall down with tears at his feet, in joy and compunction shouting aloud, Glory to thee, our most dear Redeemer, who, because of thy great love for us unworthy ones, hast been pleased to send thine angels in the service of our salvation. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. <laughs>